nudged her and only because she was in my room. It's been your room for all of two minutes. How about a little border neutrality? At least until we're officially moved in? Never mind that. We don't hit girls. Ever. Do we, Jack? Apologize to your sister. I didn't hit her. I barely touched her. She's just being a baby. What did I say? Fine. Sorry, Gabby. That you're such a baby. Hey! You don't want anyone in your room, huh? Fine, get your ass up there now and stay there until I tell you you can leave. Move it! Kent? What? Can I speak to you in the kitchen, please? Gabby, can you start taking the tape off some of these boxes for me while I talk to Daddy? Okay. Thank you. What was that about? What? You're always telling me I'm too easy on him and I shouldn't let him get away with talking back. Fine. I'm not happy about this. I mean, look at me. Here I am, standing on the shitty linoleum in his ugly ass kitchen. So you want our kids to be homeless so you can maintain your spite? Just that being here makes me feel like a failure. Like he's laughing at me. Kent, turn on the news. We're hardly the only ones going through something like this. Baby, I don't think your father left you this house so he can laugh at you. I think he left it to you because even a mean drunk like him had to realize that you were the one worthwhile thing he did with his life. Buddy, you all right? Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry I yelled. Moving kind of sucks, huh? Yeah. Well, school should be starting soon. Bet you're excited about that. Yeah, right. Oh, that's right. Forgot. You're my kid who doesn't love homework and book reports. <laughs> the weird one. Well, not weird. Gabby's weird. Probably because she's adopted. Hey, I don't ever want to hear you say something like that again, okay? She's your sister. She has been since she was a week old. She always will be. I didn't mean it like bad. Okay, but it still wasn't nice. And you can't just go shoving her around either. I don't know. There is one good thing about moving here over spring break, though. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. What's that? We're here just in time to sign you up for baseball. Yeah, that's cool, but I was kind of thinking about playing a different sport. Really? What's that? Football! Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, no. A flag on the play. <laughs> Necessary rough. No way. That was a clean hit. Right. <laughs> okay, buddy. Save it for the field, all right? Your mom wants us to get clean up for dinner. Good. I'm starving. <laughs> okay, you want to Yeah, sure. Tell me when. Oh, good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay, elbows off table, Jack. And napkins, go on napkins, Gabs. Yeah, and be sure to put your pinkies up when you drink, kids. There is nothing wrong with good manners. I never said there was. Oh, no. Where's the plate? Where's the plate? Under the table. Go, go, go. Hey. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. It'll be over soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, Jack. It could be aftershocks. I thought there weren't supposed to be earthquakes in Texas. They happen everywhere. They are pretty rare here. Not rare really enough. Did you see that light? It looked like something exploded in our backyard. Well, it's probably a power transformer. Could have been miles away, though. Light travels fast. At the speed of light. <laughs> That's right, sweetie. <laughs> I 
there's nothing to be afraid of in the dark, though, right? I know. You didn't sound very convincing. Neither did you. <laughs> I'm going to plug it in right over here, okay? How's that? Great. Uh-oh. What? I think I see a blanket monster right here. <laughs> Hello, could you use some more fluffing? <laughs> Night, pumpkin. Night, Daddy. Better, Your Majesty. Much. <laughs> <Don't work. laughs> How are we doing in here? You don't need a nightlight, too, do you? I'm not afraid of the dark. Cell phone. Got it. I'll go. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. You're okay. <laughs> Lights just went out. I saw a monster. There's no such thing as a monster, sweetie. Here. I got something for you. Here you go. All right now? I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go check that breaker. No, don't leave me. Oh, Gabby, yeah. come on. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, sweetie. Okay, look. See, nothing. 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 I think the kids are gonna be okay. As soon as we get cable and internet, they won't even realize we moved. I'm being serious. You grew up in the same place. Mom and I moved around a lot after Dad left. It's not easy being the new kid. I think it'll be a little bit of an adjustment for Gabby, but once school starts, she'll be fine. Jack, on the other hand, could make friends on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm more worried about you. I know what I said earlier, but I just needed to vent. I'll be fine. Actually, I'm looking forward to my new job. You know, working for the Brown Foundation may not pay that well, but at least I don't have to deal with anyone looking over my shoulder. It's kind of sad, though. Won't you miss being around people? No. Why do you think I went into research instead of medicine? <laughs> so you have 
absolutely no interest in human contact. Good to know. Well, I didn't mean all human contact. So, just checking. This would be okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about... This. You could use this more than I. Oh, bless you. Dad, there's a giant burnout hole back there. I told you something exploded. It's awesome. You gotta come see. Can I at least finish my coffee? But it's a giant hole. Okay. Hey, you two be careful. I don't want either one of you falling in. We will. Come on. Kent. We will. Scout's on us. What did you just tell your mother? What do you think caused it? I don't know. But if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably an old well. An oil well? Could be, but more likely water. Earthquake probably let loose a pocket of natural gas, and then any little spark, like from rocks rubbing together. Whoosh. Yep, giant fireball time. Cool. Will it do it again? Oh, no way. You saw all the gas burn up, and now that the hole is open, it would just dissipate into the air. How deep do you think it is? Want to find out? Mom's right, back in the house. I'm gonna cover this up, but I don't want you or your sister messing around back here. You hear me? Jack. Yeah, okay. I'll be the mommy and you'll be the daddy. I know, just for a pretend. Look at this room, it's a pig's eye. Sty? What's a sty? Hey, Gabs. Who are you talking to, sweetie? Grandpa. Oh, you playing telephone with Grandpa Edwards? No, I was playing house with Grandpa Peroni. Sweetie, you know Grandpa Peroni's dead, right? Mm-hmm. You know what that means? Okay. Jeez, it's freezing in here. Wow. Hey, how about you come downstairs with me? Let's see if Daddy can fix the heat in here. Okay. And you're wondering why Gabby's seeing monsters. Those are pretend. The one I saw was real. Gabby, if there is something weird going on in her room with the heat, it's freezing in there. Pilot probably went out in the furnace. It's 50 years old like everything else here. Check it out. Hey, I 
I was waiting. Only because your mom distracted me. Don't worry. I'll be right back to kick your butt. In your dreams. In yours. In yours. In yours. In yours. In yours. Hey, sweetie, you seen your mother? Mom, Dad bleeding to death. What happened? I just tripped and scraped myself in an old garden tool. Do we have any hydrogen peroxide? Upstairs in the cabinet. Which cabinet? Uh, just come with me. Jeez, you really did a number on yourself, didn't you? Hey, kids, stay here, OK? If someone comes to the door, don't answer it. Come and get you. That's right. Just don't get blood on your shirt. I can't get that out. There. All better. Now you want me to kiss it like I do with the kids? No, thanks. I know where that mouth has been. Hey, watch it, buddy. <laughs> hey. What's it complaining? Good job not getting blood on your shirt. <laughs> ah, thank you. I'm gonna head back down to the basement. Check out the furnace. How cold did you say it was in there? Gabby's room? It was freezing just a minute ago. Feels fine in here now. Maybe even a little warm, actually. Huh. Furnace must kick back on on its own. What is it? Nothing. Uh, 19, right? 1917. There you go. Thanks. The coupons are on top of the boxes. I'll take those. Thank you. Careful. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. You too. Mom, Dad, Gabby messed up the game. I did not. Then who did? If I say, you'll get mad. Not if it's the truth. Me. Gabriella Meredith, you know we do not accept telling lies in this family. I'm not lying. Then obviously your eyes are playing tricks on you because you're tired and you need to go to bed. Now tell the truth. I did. Fine. Go upstairs, brush your teeth, get ready for bed. But. No buts. Go. Freezing in here again. No, that's too hot I, now. Leave it. I don't want you catching the cold. Fine. Good night, sweetie. Fine. You think that's funny? I 
am coming back in five minutes. If you are not still covered, we're gonna have a real problem. Do you understand? Hey, what are you doing? You know pepperoni makes you fart. No, it doesn't. It makes you fart. <laughs> He's old. Everything makes him fart. Hey, not my fault. You know that's why they call old guys like me old farts. You know? I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could help it. <laughs> Man, you totally let that guy get me on purpose. Gotta learn to watch your six. Can we restart? It's bedtime anyway. Just one more shot at this level. Not tonight. I've gotta go to work tomorrow. Which means that while I'm gone, you're the man of the house. I need you well rested so you can protect your mom and your sister. Get moving, soldier. All right. <laughs> What is it? There was someone in the bathroom. They were hiding in the tub. Okay, I got this. Why don't you show me, okay? Aren't you gonna get a weapon or something? I think we'll be all right. So what this guy look like? Big red eyes and he was sticking his arms out, pushing at the shower curtain. But he kind of disappeared when I turned the lights on. He did. Let's take a look. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. Wait. Watch what happens when I turn out the lights. I swear I saw something. I believe you. It's all right. I'm not crazy. I know what I saw. Sometimes when our brain can't process something, it just sort of makes stuff up. With the stress of the move and the earthquake last night and that weird hole in the backyard, it was just searching for a solution. And for you, as a red-eyed monster in the bathtub, that doesn't make you crazy. It just makes you human. We all just need to get a good night's sleep and everything will be back to normal tomorrow. I promise. Okay? Okay. Hold on. There is something very wrong in this room. Baroni. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> now get some sleep before you wake up your sister. Man, I hope the paint doesn't peel off these walls. Man. place. Lots going on. Kids are just getting spooked. Yeah. It's nothing I couldn't have predicted. So I'm a little worried about Gabby, though. She, she seemed to really believe what she was saying about your father. She's just acting out. Yeah. I'm sure you're right. Well, I think I'm gonna head on to bed. Okay. All right, if I finish this chapter? Sure. See you in a few. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What are you doing out of bed? Jack? Jack! Good Jack, that is not funny. It's not funny. Came because you called my name. What is going on in here? I saw someone in the hallway, and I, I thought they came in here, but then they just disappeared. Great, you're seeing things too. Look, I know what I saw. Honey, I'm sure you think you saw something. Stay with the kids. Kent. Don't even think of coming back. I have a gun and it's loaded. Not sure they didn't steal nothing, just busted up some stuff. As far as we can tell. Well, I'll go ahead and take a report. In case y'all notice anything missing in the morning. Not much else I can do. Who would do something like this? You know, it could have been anybody. Drunken teenagers, druggies. My most likely suspect would be Mexicans. Lots of times they get dropped off just across the border without nothing. Ended up busting the folks' homes, looking for food or something they can pawn to make their way north. If I was y'all living all the way out here, I'd invest in some better locks. Possibly even uh, get y'all a firearm. No. We have children. We're not having guns in this house. Suit yourself, ma'am. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Sheriff. Yeah. No problemo. OK, excitement's over. You two need to get to bed. You really should get a gun, Dad. Like an AR-15, or at least a Smith & Wesson 500. He is not getting a gun. Go. Both of you. Stop by the hardware store tomorrow and get some deadbolts on the way home from work. Could we get a dog? No dogs. Bed, sleep now. Don't make me say it again. That worked. You see my dress socks? Uh, they should be in the drawer with your underwear. I might have put them in the back, though. Why? No reason. <laughs> you look like a nerd. Oh, I wish it was more like a nerd. Nerds are the ones that hire the guys that picked on them when they were younger. Good point. Never mind, then. <laughs> yeah, you might want to think about that wise guy. Doubtful. Well, I'm off. Hey, don't give your mother any more grief than usual while I'm at work. Talk about doubtful. <laughs> Bye.
can pitch for me. No, you can pitch for me. You can never hit the ball. Dude, just don't throw it. Fine. I'll give you five tries. But if you miss them all, you gotta pitch for me. Okay. Remember, if you miss them all, you gotta pitch for me. What if I hit five home runs? Shh. No fair, that doesn't count. She wasn't ready. You were in the batter's box. I'm not playing if you're gonna be mean. Fine. Five more tries starting now. <laughs> Learn to throw. Don't need to. You ready? Yeah. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Wasn't me. Gabby was holding the bat. I just slipped out my hand. You both need to be more careful. Come on, I need you both to help me unpack some boxes anyways. Let's go. Why do I have to unpack boxes? She did it. Jack. Whatever. Mr. Navarro, right? Call me Hector. Okay. What can I do for you, Hector? Dr. Layton wants what you have so far. Sure. Go get him that. And tell him I'm about two thirds through the samples and there's an anomaly on 134. Little advice? Sure. Just give him what he asked for, leave him alone. And you never found me. That's because I wasn't playing, dummy. I told you that. Only because you'd know you would lose. Yeah, right. I find you in less than a minute always. That's why I'm not playing, because it's no fun. Jack, could you come here, please? Oh, see what you did. Me, you're the one who's yelling. Don't mess with my game. Yeah? I told you I'm working on my grant proposal. Is it too much to ask for five minutes without you and your sister trying to kill each other? But she was the one bugging me. Did I ask you that? You're the older brother, Jack. I expect more out of you. Now, please, I just need 30 minutes. Can you give me that? Fine. I'll be quiet. Promise. Good. Thank you. Oh, she is so dead.
Ben from Jack? Yeah, please. Sorry, but I can't find Gabby. We were fighting because she wanted me to play hide-go-seek, but I wouldn't. So I think she took my controller so that I'd play. But now I can't find her. She's never this good at hiding. She's probably just scared of what you'll do if you do find her. Yeah, but I told her she could come out and I wouldn't be bad. Maybe she didn't hear you. Maybe, but I looked everywhere. What if that guy who broke in last night came back? I doubt it, but come on, let's go find your sister. This is your mother. Game's over. Time to come out, okay? Gabby? Can you hear me? Come on. No more hiding. Did you do that? Do what? Close the cabinets. No. Swear. Get down from there. Didn't you hear me calling you? And how in the world do you even get up here? What is wrong with you? I was hiding from the monster. There are no such things as monsters, Gabby. Maybe. What's the matter? Screaming. There's something upstairs. 
Something? What kind of something? An animal? I, I, don't, I don't know what it was, a ghost, a demon, but I've never seen something like it before. We, we need to get the hell out of this house right now. Steph, calm down. You didn't see it, we did. All of you? Mm-hmm. Jack? Well, Gabby peed herself and Mom looked really scared. And I did see all the cabinet doors upstairs close on their own. Like what might happen in a, with weak hinges in an old drafty house? Kent, this had nothing to do with old hinges. I saw something in the hallway mirror upstairs and then it was gone. Okay. Up here, right? Kent, don't. Look, there's nothing up here. It's like I told Jack. I believe you saw something. But it's just not a monster because they don't exist. I'm not saying it was a monster, but whatever it was, it wasn't human and I don't want to see it again. Steph, be reasonable. What's more likely? That something passed by outside and put a weird reflection in the mirror and Gabby's power of suggestion just made your mind turn it into something? Or we have demons from hell hanging out in the hallway. <laughs> it's just a door, I'll get it. Why don't you go in the kitchen and pour yourself a glass of wine? I don't need a glass of wine. I need to get out of this house. Honey, you, come on, you're scaring the kids. Maybe they should be scared. I'll tell you what, have that glass of wine. If you still wanna leave after you've had a chance to relax and reflect, we will. Sweetie, we're gonna get you cleaned up and we're gonna get out of here, okay? Good. Hi. Hey, sorry to bug you, but I couldn't get you on your cell. Yeah, the reception's kind of hit and miss out here. Mm. What's up? Well, Leighton's freaking out. Thinks whatever you found today could be big. He said that? No, nah, no, nah, man. He said, it's nothing, it's nothing, about a thousand times, which is how he does before he ends up publishing some big paper or whatever. Hmm. So what does he want me to do? I mean, I've already given my findings, and I called the lab to request a duplicate sample. Yeah. He was hoping you'd call the lab and put a rush on that duplicate. They're not really big fans of his over there. He tends to rub some people the wrong way. But if it was a new guy asking, they might cut you a break. Well, they'll be closed by now, but I could do it first thing in the morning. Cool. Just as soon as possible, or if the dude will drive me crazy, which then I'll have to pass along to you, which will suck. Yeah. Who's this? Um, this is my wife, Stephanie, and our kids, Jack and Gabby. Hey, guys. I'm Hector. I work with your dad. That's nice, but we're just leaving, so if you could. Steph. Seriously? Yes, seriously. I'm not having my children stay one more night in this house. You're being ridiculous. Fine, but me and the kids are gonna be it somewhere else. Could I just talk to you alone in the kitchen for a minute, please? One minute? Sure. You guys all right? Yeah. What's going on? Steph, I know you're scared, which is why I'm willing to make a deal with you. If you go out there right now and tell the kids that what you saw was just a, a reflection off a passing truck and there's nothing to be afraid of, then the next even minutely strange thing that happens in this house will leave. All of us. You swear? I don't know where we'll go, but yeah, I swear. Look, there is always a reasonable scientific explanation for everything. And now that I'm here, I'll be able to see what you're seeing and help you understand what it really is. I hope you're right. But just in case, I'm gonna put an overnight bag in the car. Okay, fine. And that's when I peed myself. I think you should talk to my granny. She could help you. We don't need any help. Gabby and I just saw a reflection of a monster off one of those energy drink trucks, and I let my imagination get the best of me. We'll be fine. Are you sure? Look, I've been through it myself. When I moved into my first apartment, things moved around on their own. And every morning, my oven door was open, even after I bungee corded it. So I called my granny, 
And after she came over, all of it stopped. We're kind of broke at the moment. We don't really have money to be paying for psychics and witch doctors. Well, she's not any of those. And she doesn't take money. I mean, sometimes people give it to her, but... I'm sure they do. We'll be fine on our own, though. You see it work tomorrow? That's what you want. Portland. Because we live here now. What about the monster? There is no such thing as monsters. And that's the last I want to hear that from any of you. You were all scaring yourselves to death for no reason, and it has to stop. You hear me? Yes, darling. Jack? Here. Good. Now eat your dinner. Gonna give me the silent treatment all night. I'll take that as a yes. Look, I was just doing what I thought was right. Do you really want the kids growing up seeing Boogeyman behind every curtain? No. But if they do, I don't want them to be afraid to tell us. I can't explain to you what I saw. If you had seen it, you would understand. There's something very wrong in this house. What are you saying? My dad is haunting us? I don't know. I don't know if it's your dad or, or something else. All I know is that, Kent, I am not crazy. I saw something. back in my room. Dad said that there are no monsters and you and Mom just made that up with your imaginations. Now go back to bed. Leave me alone. I'm tired. Jack, look. Dad. Dad would just yell at me again the same line. But you're not. Are you? Jack. What the hell? I thought I put a stop to this. Open this damn door right now!
Wake up. Wake up. Mom, are you okay? Okay. Okay, sweetie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, just go back to sleep. It's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay now. What are you doing? Where are you going? You're not leaving us, are you? No, honey. I'll be right outside. I'm just gonna check on your mom, okay? Stay here. Don't let anyone in but me or your mother. Okay? Okay. You okay? No. You? I gotta get to work soon. That's what you're worried about? No. Not just. But I don't think it's a good idea for me to lose our only source of income right now. I was crossing my fingers hoping our card would go through when I paid for the room last night. Okay. If you're going into work, you need to ask that. The guy from last night, what's his name? Hector? Yes. You need to tell him we need his grandmother's help. Oh, come on, Steph. She's probably just some sort of kook. And Hector, he was in jail at one point, okay? And you left him alone with our children? Well, it was just for stealing a car when he was a teenager. I mean, he seems like a nice enough guy, I guess, but... But what? But well, you think you know better? What is your reasonable scientific explanation for what happened last night? I don't have one. Okay. I mean, I always thought the people who believed in ghosts were like people who believed in Bigfoot or fairies. I guess you were wrong. Probably because you don't know everything. I never said I did. You sure act like you do. First, you, you don't believe me, and now you want to turn down help? Why? Because you don't think it's possible that someone else could be more in tune with what we're dealing with than you? No. If you want me to ask, I will. Okay. Okay. All I was trying to say is I think we need to be very careful with what little bit of money we have left. And not get our hopes up. I need to pick up your work. Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, um, I'm sorry about last night. If I came off a little... Dickish? Yeah. Yeah. Can we talk? Buy me a coffee. Done. So, who'd you ask before you came to me? No one? 
Well, I did ask over at the science department if they had anyone doing paranormal research. Mm hmm Yeah? And what did they say? That kind of science is only done in the creative writing department here. Hey, listen. I gotta ask. Your grandmother, she... She's not gonna scare my kids, is she? No. I mean, is there anything about her that... that's... Nah, happy? man. No. She, uh... She helps people stop being scared. She's really not what you think. Let me give her a call. Here. If she's home, which she usually is right about now, you can meet her first. You'll see. Hey, Granny. Hey, it's your favorite nieto. No, the other one. Yeah. See, I get no love. Mr. Peroni? Hi. He didn't tell me he was so handsome. Is he? Never mind him. He learned his manners from the state correction people. <laughs> Come on inside. Now, y'all, cop yourself a squat. I'll go get us some iced tea. And then maybe you can fill me in on all I'm sure Hector has left out. I'm sitting right here, Granny. I can smell you, sweetie. No love. See, I get no love. And if I hadn't jumped on him when I did, I don't know where it would have taken him. That's a powerful energy you're describing. That's what I like to call him owing to that Einstein fella. You know how he said he believed life had to exist after death since energy could neither be created nor destroyed? What? I said something funny? No, sorry. It's... It's just uh, not what I was expecting. Told you. Well, yeah, but I mean, younger, too. Oh, I had this one's daddy when I was a little girl of 15, and Raul didn't waste no time either, unlike someone. I'm only 24, Granny. Which I'm sure is the number of girls you're with on a weekly basis. Look, I hate to be so blunt, but do you think you can help us? I don't reckon why not. I've dealt with some rather ornery energies in the past. Nothing quite like what you described, though. So, um, what exactly is it that you do? Well, the easiest way to put it is, I share myself with them. I let them inside me so they know what I know. They're not living anymore and they should move on. Can't always get them to, but once they know they're dead, most stop doing the things that are bothering the living. A lot are grateful. They've been lost and confused, and I end that for them. That would be great if you could do that. The kids, my wife, we're all just, um... The end of your rope. I could see that. And I'm willing to try. But is there anything you haven't told me? I think it might be my father. Doubtful. At least not on his own. I don't think a single energy is capable of all you described. But why would you think that? He was a son of a bitch when he was alive. I doubt dying made him any nicer. Well, y'all sure you want to go through with this? We are. Good. Then I need you to get your whole family back to your house. If, like I think, we're dealing with multiple energies, they tend to target individuals. And I'd hate for y'all to move back in with some of them still there. Guys, this is Hector. You remember him from last night? Hey, guys. And this is his grandmother, Inez. Hi. Hi. You can call me Granny Inez. Everyone under 12 does. But not y'all, please. 
So what do we do? We just go in or? Yep, no time like the present. I don't wanna. Oh, sweetie. It'll be all right. Pinky swear? Is there any other kind? Everyone else good? All righty. here. How can you tell? Well, sometimes places where bad things happen contain a certain residue from energies changing form. Let's go inside. He's in there. I can feel him. You have keys? Yeah, we, we left so fast. I don't know. Y'all can relax. I didn't mean he was right behind the door. <laughs> we'll probably have to wait at least till dark to make contact. Come on. You said the strongest event happened in Jack's room? That's right. Where's that? Upstairs. Can you show me? Sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Y'all can stay put. I just want to get a feel for the place. We'll be back presently. Wait, you guys want to play a game? Can we play a game? Hector's real good at that one. Again, Grandma? Said I never felt it before. <clears throat> Not to worry. You doesn't always mean bad. <laughs> Why don't we try another room? <clears throat> Hold on. Something happened out here. Steph and Gabby saw something. In the mirror, I know, but this wasn't your father. This is. This is. What are you doing? Could it come out of there? Come out? No, it's not in there. It never was. But it's just like how magicians use mirrors. You could trick y'all with them. I don't like to be tricked. hands. 
concentrate on your grandfather. We'll start with him. Oh, well, I could just ask him to come out. Gabby. No, it's okay. How did he come out when you've asked before? I never did. He usually just finds me. Well, why don't you go ahead and try, sweetie? Grandpa, can you come out? I don't think he heard me. That's okay. Try again. Grandpa, are you... Is she okay? No. Maybe. I don't know. Get out or die. Great. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Granny! Why is your father doing this to us? Not him. He showed me something else. It's not human. We need to leave. What is it? Get a body. No matter what, do you hear me? No matter what. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Jack! Damn it! Jack! What are you gonna do? You heard Granny. You can't let it get a body. do to you, baby. Can you hear me? Jack. Oh. 
Say that, don't you? Somebody please help me, Jack. Jack. Steph, she's right. Move away. I can't. No. Please. You think I want to do this? That thing inside him is too powerful. No. No. She's right. Look at his eyes. Jack, I don't think he's breathing. What? He's not breathing. He's not breathing. Jack. Jack. <laughs> Come on, Jack, breathe. Come on, buddy. You can do it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. It's over. Put it down. What's over? What happened? It doesn't matter, sweetie. All right. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. How's the leg? It hurts? Yeah, sorry about that. 
No, you're just doing what you thought you had to. Why would you even bring a gun to this house? Are you joking? I don't know you people. And besides, this is Texas. I bring guns everywhere. How's your grandmother? Well, her neck's broke, so that ain't good. But she's talking, and she's moving her fingers a little, so she's not completely, you know. What are we gonna tell him? Oh, yeah, you stay here. What happened? What's going on, Goody? What's happening? Jack, where's Gabby? I don't know. Last time I saw her, she was in the kitchen getting the juice box. Oh, my God. 